Hello guys, I'm Fox Road. Today I am painting an enforcer. And you also probably notice the new camera. I'm gonna do a pull for which one you like more. This one or the other one. Surprisingly, I kinda like this one. And before I get, um, there's gonna be pop-ups of the paint I use. So you can tell what paint I use much easier. So, yeah. This hand is Theo's hand. Ooh. <laughs> So paint the entire figure black like the Heavy Enforcer. Do a dry brush to with a size 8 brush onto the gun or a shield. Okay, after this, you put this yellow on the shoulder pads, the, the back of the figure. The, you could put a sh one of the shoulder pads or both shoulder pads, this yellow. I did one, just for example. The middle of the chest and the back. And also the top of the head, yeah. After that, we paint this copper color all over the base.
after that, um, put a yellow on the second lowest. So, any evens, it's hard to explain. But how I did the painting is, if it's just one down, then I paint it this yellow. Also, these weird foot-like things, too. <laughs> I forgot to do something, and it was, um, the do the gun case thing, so I saw that before I, um, painted it, so I forgot to just put things. So, put a red on the casing of the gun, or the ammo, and put the top, the tips of the bullets. But, for this, after you do those two, do make a wash, um. Just do the same way if you don't have it all, you know. Last time, I forgot to, I couldn't do this because my guy didn't have any cloth area. So, my character has a gun, um, holster. So, paint that all brown or if you have ammo, um, bags. Or anything that's meant to be cloth.
after you do the brown, when it dries, do a wash. Earth shade would be best. Only do this on the the cloth areas. After that, you should have something kind of like this. Grim dark figure. And I actually am really pleased with this figure. I have multiple, but I can't find them. So, yeah. Well, anyway. This is the time of saying goodbye. So, bye!